Al here and i um, filming with my phone, which I don't like to do. <laughs> Because it's hard to hold it right and also talk and I'm trying to look at the little camera but my eye wants to go this way. So anyway, I'm on my phone and um, I felt inspired to come out this evening. There is a lot of great flowering plants behind me. Uh, we have ragweed coming up right here and these little seeds are so good. Um, tastes a little bit like well actually these are the flowering pods before they're seeded so this is more sweet and when it dries then it'll have more of a wheat taste but they're really good um, I guess I wouldn't recommend that for people who have severe allergies to ragweed but I do not so I'm eating it um, and then also over here I'm gonna pull this this is a plant um, and this is not the best sampling this is bone set I'm gonna get a better leaf so bone set is a great plant and this plant has leaves that are um, opposite each other on the stem so you can see they're going this direction then they kind of go the other direction and they kind of rotate but they're um, opposite then turn opposite going up so they're kind of easy to recognize by their stem they like kind of like a wet soil and um, right now though they just started to flower the bone set herb and this plant has a lot of nicknames one of them is breakbone fever and it is uh, excellent for fevers, just like yarrow is, which is an herb I talk about a lot and love. And uh, I would make sure, if you have this, to collect it and dry the flowers and the leaves and save it for um, cold and flu season. Cold and flu and other maladies season. It is um, an herb that will help you sweat. It is an herb that will help break a fever. It is an herb that... Um, helps your body overcome illness and kind of like purge it out of the system and um, it's pretty prolific if you especially if you have a wet area um, I'm sure you'll probably have it there so I would say get out your herb identification app or book and help to help yourself identify but um, once again has these nice dark green pointy leaves that kind of spiral going up the stem and they are opposite each other then turn and continue up and I think I'm not using correct technical language but uh, I guess I, I like a simpler approach to herbal medicine versus um, a more scientific approach I, I think of the herbs in a more simple user-friendly way so thanks Good night.